I thought to myself, instead of making a beta 1 video, because I already technically did that, I just went and renamed my video to Cosmic Beta 1, yada yada yada. Right? Because it is. There's nothing different in uh, the now marked beta 1 versus what I was using before. Same thing, one fix. So it's not really worth mentioning. Since I already covered it all, okay? Let's begin with your settings. Because if someone new is jumping into Cosmic and they don't know how to handle or do anything, which is completely understandable, uh, these are your settings right here. And this is where you'll probably hook up your Wi-Fi. This is where you'll hook up your Bluetooth. So it automatically searches and scans and stuff. And you could do whatever you need to here. And uh, it's pretty efficient in what it does. So when you click something, it tries to connect. And then I would prefer if there was a pair button, a forget button, and a disconnect button, but whatever. This is your accessibility. It has its own screen reader. It's got a magnifier. There's lots of options there for you. Uh, there's high contrast mode which honestly looks way better than non-high contrast mode. Yeah, I'm gonna leave that on. There's inverted colors. Oh, okay. Uh, there's a color filter. So if you want to change things to grayscale or, you know, whatever you need to do, right? You could do that and play stereo as mono. Uh, your desktop, this is where you add your image for your wallpaper. I believe this should be an actual button like this instead of this. That would probably be a little bit better. Uh, but same way, you could set the same wallpaper on all displays or you can set wallpaper per display. Okay, so that's completely up to you. I'm glad that they have a choice. You can also go and select a new folder. In appearance, you'll notice that you have a ton of options which is nice. And by the way, changing over to that other thing was really hurtful on the eyes. So I'm going to put on the glasses that I actually found in the park. There we go. They're pretty fancy, aren't they? Yeah, there's some sort of expensive brand, which was kind of interesting. Uh, this is a gaps around your tiled stuff. So if you decide to start tiling things, which you could do here, uh, this is what controls everything. Okay. System font, mono, icon toolkit and stuff. So if I wanted to, we could change the icons to Mac OS and we can affect a no maps with our coloring. That's what this does right here. This is our no maps. Okay. Uh, this allows you to change the background color. Just like that. And there's a whole bunch of other things that you can affect here too. So your color component tint uh, used for background and standard buttons. That's the buttons right there. So if I wanted to, I could go and change the buttons to really, really, really green, which actually looks not that bad. And you could use the same theme color as the Windows uh, stuff. So as you could see, you could do this. We could just make it completely poison ivy type coloring. Yeah, so I think that looks pretty interesting. And you could switch between light and dark. And you could do it automatically as well. You could also, if you had, import other people's themes which is nice. A display is kind of finicky. So you're going to have issues with this because if you have more than one display, sometimes when you move a display, it will automatically apply itself instead of moving a display and then hitting apply. I think the way that they have it set up now is wrong. There is no zero display. It's one, two, and three, four, five, and so on. This is wrong. And I actually do probably need to report this is wrong. This should be one. This should be two. This should be three simple as that there's no other way to do this but you do have a variable refresh rate as well so you can have that on as always or disabled or automatic what should be there is a full screen windowed mode or for your desktop or whatever it should be like hyperland to tell you the truth because hyperland has the best vrr uh there is no hdr yet i like how this one doesn't have variable refresh rate but this one does which makes me wonder, do I have it on? I do. It's just not showing, I guess. Which is, I guess, a bug, maybe? Who knows? But there you go. And as you can see, we can just click here and uh, change things if we need to. Sound is pretty straightforward. You can choose what you want. Uh, USB audio, USB audio, USB audio. They should honestly be separated differently according to their actual device name. Uh, you can choose your profiles if you need to, and uh, you can also choose amplification. So you could 
go beyond 100% if you needed to. Uh, I don't have battery power, and also the uh, power profiles daemon is not currently installed. I should probably go and install that sudo dnf install power profiles daemon. Choice. There we go. Without racing. Thank you. Done. So now uh, I have the ability for high performance or balanced mode. For input, keyboard, pretty straightforward. You have your input sources, you have your special key characters, you have shortcuts if you needed to for managing Windows, moving, manage, moving Windows navigation system, Windows tiling, and custom. So that's pretty interesting. So if you needed to, you can set it up just like Hyperland. And there's also repeat delay, repeat, and state on boot. So yeah, there's a lot of things that you can choose in here. So that's pretty nice. Uh, default applications, they do work very, very well. I'm going to choose files, actually. Mail client, I don't have any. Uh, music client, again, I don't really have any. So for this, I choose MPV. Their stuff is not really good yet. Their applications are kind of too basic to be using. But time of day is pretty, you know, there. I don't know why it says, yeah, it's because we're north of America. Okay, I'm not going to argue with that one. And if we click here, choose picture, I can go into logo. Made that, by the way. And I can go in here. And I could choose one of the logos that I made. I'm going to choose this one. And now that's going to end up showing. So now there it is. But you could set your username, change your password, be administrator. All the basic stuff is there. The about takes a while to load, uh, which is unfortunate. It does something really weird. And it does not look clean at all, which is sad. But hopefully they'll come around to fixing it. So there's all your settings. Now, there is another tool, an application that is called Cosmic Tweaks. I want to show you what's inside of there. So you can import color schemes. You can deal with your dock, panel. Uh, you could adjust your layout. You can put it Windows, Cosmic, Mac OS, or Ubuntu. And then again, you have snapshots of how your desktop environment looks, which is really, really nice. So if I wanted to, I could just put Mac OS. And now I have a snapshot. So if I screw something up, I could always go back and restore the snapshot, which is very nice. Again, their applications are bare bones and leaves a lot to desire, but uh, you could use any terminal or application thing that you want. You're not held back. So let's go over the, the panels. As you can see, you could have it at the top of the screen, uh, the left of the screen, you could have it on the right of the screen. You could put it wherever you want, right? I'm gonna put it back at the top. Um, you could automatically hide the panel if you don't want to see it or you can keep the panel like there's a bunch of stuff in here you can make it float which i bet a lot of people are going to do you can get this to match the desktop you know so on and so forth uh you can configure all your applets so this is basically gnome level type stuff so gnome 2 where they used to have applets they stopped doing this because it didn't work out as well as they thought it did and it ended up causing more trouble and harm than good. Uh, but hopefully they found a better way to do it. Here's hoping. But yeah, you can customize everything that you have here. So I have the numbered workspaces. It's going to look completely different from mine. And uh, if we go back, we can also go to panel. Or sorry, we're already on panel. We can go to dock and do the same thing as you can see. So you can add applets and stuff like that. Yeah. Just like if I wanted to add an application button, I could do that. And there we go. Now it's more Mac OS like. So I click here, that comes up there. Now what I would like is the ability for the application launcher to actually show up on the bottom instead of the top, or we have a setting for that. But uh, as I've came to find out, the Cosmic developers are not going to be one for doing too much customization. It's gnome level stuff even though they're trying to get away from gnome so super key opens launcher you can get this to open workspaces you can get this to open applications which i'm going to keep it as or you could just disable it altogether. okay and uh take a look here you can show there's active windows hint show maximize button show minimize button 
There's just an endless amount of stuff that you can do. You could even customize your workspaces. You can have it vertical or, hor or horizontal if you need it to. So, there you go. So, Cosmic in beta is very simplistic. There's no animations. Uh, it does feel smooth, which is nice, even without the animations. But it also feels extremely clunky and outdated. Uh, which is the main reason I cannot daily drive it. It would drive me crazy. They have a lot of work to do. They are going to add animations hopefully one day, but they are guaranteed to add blur soon, which honestly animation should come first and then blur and all of that stuff. But there are some bugs. Look out for them. If you see any, go to the GitHub, report these bugs, and make sure you test any fixes or whatever when they ask, okay? Because if you want a good desktop environment, this is the easy way to get it done, uh, to test all of that. Now, here's the crazy part. There are more settings, but they are all in here. And this is for you to figure out. I have a video going over all of this. But yeah, there's a lot of different things uh, that you could change. Like first day of the week, there's military time. Like it's, there's a lot of stuff, okay? Let's leave it at that. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I wear my sunglasses at night, and I'll see you guys next time. Don't forget to subscribe, share the video, do all this stuff. And I, I have a video coming about about a, a, the GPU that I'm going to buy because I'm selling both of my graphics cards or one that or a single graphics card because the dual GPU life, well, the AMD GPU life just ain't for me.